what I want to do is I want to create cut fill volumes between this terrain and our existing. And what it's actually going to do cut fill volumes between any proposed and existing. Uh, but we're going to focus on this area when we do our analysis. So let's come into our volumes. I'm going to do a create cut fill volume. Okay, so for our cut feature definition, we're going to do volumes cut, and then we're going to do volumes fill. Okay, so we're just going to accept these values. And this is going to take a second to process because it's going to process all of existing versus all of design. And then it's going to yield these feature definition meshes that represent our cut and our fill. All right, and you'll notice that we have these. Like I said, so not only for what we have designed here, but you know we have our corridor here that's a that is a, a proposed corridor, and it's going to compute that against existing. Same with all these. So if we were to run volumes on our cut fill, it would give us quantities of all the information that's inside of this file. But I just want to include what's in this pond. Okay, I want to know what what our fill is. It's here in blue. I want to know what our cut is. Um, and I want to know some of our materials, you know, so what we're using as our side slopes, we have, you know, it's, it's a, a rock there for that side slope. So I'm going to place a name boundary. And this is going to be a plan name boundary, but it is a, it is by a polygon. So I want to make sure that I enter my data points and I'm just going to place this around the area. And close that shape out. And then we'll accept. And we now have a name boundary that's placed in plan. It's just by that polygon. And then I'm going to do a analysis by running quantities based on that name boundary. So we'll go back to home. We'll go to civil analysis. And we'll do quantities report by name boundary. And then I don't want to display any clip graphics. We'll process this and it's going to bring up a XML report that's going to give us our results. So you'll see that it gives a little bit more detail on, you know, we have our site pond top. That was the first element that we created. That was our pond elevation and it gives us a length. Uh, it gives us our in condition fill tie. It gives us our in condition hinge. So we have a fill tie that's on the outside. We have a hinge. Um, that hinge is going to extrude all the way around. Then we have our cut slope and our TC fill slope. Okay, so these are our areas. These are going to be areas of our fill and our cut. And we have our aggregate, which is, like I said, that rock aggregate that's our side slope of our pond from our template. And then we have our volumes. So you'll notice that our volumes and cut, um, we have uh, 1 million cubic feet and cut. And that's total cut. Okay, so that's not necessarily the volume of water retention. Um, but then we also have fill volumes of 10,000 cubic feet because we have our berm that's getting created across, you know, above our existing ground. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.